welcome back to Repton Through Time, where we're going to see Repton Through the Egyptian Era. Starting off here, we get to see what the monsters are straight away. They're the, these uh, snakes here. The vases here are obviously the boulders, and we've got the papyrus things here, which are the um, diamonds. And we see some statues around here. They're statues of Anubis. And um, they're the time capsules. We can also see a scorpion here, which is the skulls. We see some reeds in the middle of that pyramid here, and those are the... Um, that's the fungus. Obviously the reeds are very much of a weed around here. See the keys are key, so no point real stopping to look at that. And the keys open up the treasure chests that are around, obviously giving us some more scrolls. Obviously top secret information, Repton likes to nose around that kind of stuff. And we can see in here we've got a sarcophagus just up there, that's the crown. Here we've got a little uh, tomb here, and we've also got a mummy running around. Obviously, the designers of this level set obviously got their information about Egypt from movies. So we don't want to get those yet because we need to make some space down here so we can get through to this area over here. And that transporter below us, we don't really want to take that since that will lead us into one of the pyramids around here which has just got uh, an empty space, that one above us in fact. And um, making our way down here we find the time bomb which is the head of the sarcophagus. second level now. Let's pop straight into the transporter here. The only reason is to get this key. I've got some reeds around here but they're no danger because we're just getting out of that area and that area is sealed off. So you've got a big pyramid here and it's got a few little areas inside there. And a basket with a snake in there, but we deal with that quite quickly. Small little rock and diamond puzzle, but uh, no real big problem. So you see this pyramid has a lot of different passageways. They obviously wanted to make this as confusing to any Tomb Raiders. But we find a way to this sarcophagus anyway. To a place with a basket. Obviously this is one of the traps they laid inside this pyramid. Because uh, we can't push the uh, vase too far, otherwise we'll seal off our exit. Those crafty Egyptian trap makers. Anyhow, now we're going to the, down to this bottom area where our time bomb's in the bottom corner. And uh, we've got to pick our way very carefully through here since uh, it's quite easy to trap some things. Also quite easy to end up one of these vases on your head. So we see our sarcophagus down there, so we're just going to pop down and, uh, and get to it now. So 
Right, so we start off near the time bomb right here, and we can see some tombs around here as well. So we've got the mummies through there, but so we can't get them straight off. And we see a snake that's been hatched right at the start here. We push the vase into place, but we don't deliver the final blow. There's actually a treasure chest inside there, so we wait to collect the key to do that, otherwise it's a little detour. And to this hidden place at the back here, we make our th way through this uh, nice little puzzle area. And uh, we've got to make sure we keep the way clear to get back through into that area from behind the transporter, because that's where we are now. So, uh, yes, we're on getting in the wrong place to uh, deal with this snake. So, back into this area, now a simple case of dropping everything down. There's this basket in the middle of nowhere. We've got to kind of lead the snake over to uh, an available vase. Now we can let the mummies out and hide out the way. deal with that snake finally. And before the mummies rush in here, we just do a little bit down here to get these scrolls to help hurry things along. And also deal with the uh, snake up here. that for this level. See you in the next episode.